I get asked about morning routines a lot. I've interviewed hundreds and hundreds of top performers in various fields about their morning routines. And where should you start? This is one of the most common questions. And I'd recommend starting off very, very simply. Number one, when you go to bed, put your phone on airplane mode because if you wake up and you're barraged with text messages and notifications and so on, you will be immediately short-circuited. You wanna have a boot up sequence of your own. And I do believe, as I've been told, if you win the morning, you win the day. So what are a few ingredients? If you're starting as a blank slate, I would recommend number one, waking up, making your bed. I know this sounds odd. It was first recommended to me by an Indian monk. He convinced me of the merits because you are accomplishing one thing at the beginning of the day, no matter what happens with unforeseen variables for the rest of the day, you will return to a made bed at the end of the day. And as a bookmark, beginning and end, it sets you up psychologically to be more productive and also to feel better even if things go sideways later. In addition to that, if you work at home in particular, it's common that external mess creates internal mess in terms of mental state. Uh, so making your bed does not mean four seasons. It just means in my case, pulling up the sheets and blanket and so on. So it looks like uh, it, I haven't had an elephant rolling around in my bed. It's really quite simple. And then arrange the pillows in a semi pretty fashion subjectively. And there you have it. What I would recommend for many people right after that is just do 10, 15 push-ups or some type of sun salutations or something like that to prime your nervous system. And uh, that's effectively from Tony Robbins. There are many ways to do this, cold plunge and so on, cold shower, but to get your body physiologically into a state where you can then sit down and have a more optimistic story for setting strategies and so on for the day. If you're in a depressed state, you're going to see problems instead of solutions and ultimately have a really tough time, I think, starting your day uh, on the right note and in the right gear. In addition to that, if you wanna add extra credit, I would suggest that you consider either journaling, which I do almost every morning, with most typically the five minute journal, which you can look up with my name, you'll find plenty of details, I don't have any business stake in it, or morning pages, which were recommended to me by an exceptionally successful screenwriter for using putting words on paper as spiritual windshield wipers, in effect, trapping your monkey mind on paper so you can get on with your day. Those are two different complementary approaches that you can explore and experiment with. And then you can look at meditation, typically 10 to 20 minutes, and using a tool to get started like Headspace, an app, the 10 in 10 program is very, very helpful and free to get started with or transcendental meditation or guided meditations through, say, Sam Harris, who's a PhD in neuroscience, or Tara Brach, B-R-A-C-H. And some of my friends, like Maria Popova, prolific uh, entrepreneur and writer, has credited just listening to Tara Brach's 2010 Smile Meditation from the summer as changing her life. And she is absolutely type A driven, mega productive. Uh, in her life. So those are a few options. And meditation, I would encourage you to think of as not something very woo-woo, but instead training for less emotional reactivity. You're really learning to observe your thoughts and impulses and patterns in your own head so that when something frustrating happens, when someone annoys you, when things inevitably go sideways during the day, you don't respond in the worst way possible and make things compulsively worse. All right, that's really it. You're able to actually detach, say, oh, I'm feeling angry. I'm about to become angry and be angry, play angry, say something angry. And then you can short circuit that and choose a better response. You are becoming response able. So those are a few guidelines for experimenting and then crafting your own morning routines.